Welcome to Social Isolation Class. Welcome to a special edition of Sick, and today we're talking about Genius Hour. Let me tell you, Mrs. Richardson and I decided that you guys are going to do a special project. Ooh. Oh, I just need to say something right off the start here. For my more adult audience, this show is aimed specifically at grade three fours. So the usually serious nature of this program will be a little bit less. So now, what is Genius Hour? Uh, I don't know. Genius Hour is your chance to learn about something that you're interested in. This is a project that you get to choose. This is something that you're really passionate about. Something that you really get excited about. Well, wait just a second. I've got something to show you. <laughs> sitting back there on that shelf this whole time. This is one of my most favorite toys. Well, not really a toy, but I did get it when I was like your age. My brother and I received this as a Christmas present and it actually works. Now, I love steam engines. They're one of my most favorite things. I think if I was doing this project, this would be it right here. Now, you have received an emailed Genius Time notebook. And the first thing you're asked is to name your project. Well, that's easy. The name of my project is the steam engine. Well, the next thing you got to do is come up with three questions that you'd want to find answers to about your project. Well, I remember when I received this for Christmas, I was like, well, what does it do? What's it for? Then I'm like, well, who invented it? Why? Remember in science, we've been learning about coal and coal makes heat, and heat makes steam, and steams can make parts move and provide power to run machinery for factories. Well, and then I'm wondering, how does it actually work? I mean, you gotta have fire, like coal. You gotta heat it up, like what goes in here? What goes through this? What makes this go back and forth? And how does it make this big wheel spin? How does it work? So now like I've got three questions easy, like what's it for? Who invented it? Maybe like the history of it? And how does it work? I mean, sure, you could ask your mom and dad or your brother or something, but maybe they don't even know. So, you got to do some research. Go online. Google it. If I Google steam engine, what do I get? Like, lots of stuff, right? I could Google the history of the steam engine. I could Google... How does it work? So now we got our subject, we got our questions, and we've got some research. We've got information. The next thing we have to do is we have to share it. So now that I've done all this research, I know lots about this little steam engine. I'm gonna present my information. I'm probably gonna use maybe poster, 
PowerPoint, diagrams showing the internal working, like the inside parts of this. And you know, if you can, something like this, wouldn't it be awesome to actually see it in action? Don't you think people would be interested in seeing that? In that package that you're getting emailed, there will be places for you to write stuff down, your research facts, information. She's gonna be marking you for ELA. I'm gonna be marking you for the sciencey stuff. How do you get this stuff to us? Well, you share it by taking pictures. You share it by actually sending us your materials, as in writing posters, pictures of, you could video, you could video yourself talking about your project. I mean, the sky's the limit. You could even drop it off. If you really want me to see it, you can give me a, send me a message and say you want to drop it off in my driveway at my house or maybe arrange to drop it off at school if you really want me to see it in person. Otherwise, just take lots of good pictures, do some video. Now, I am really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Um, I'll share it. I want to show it off so you can send me pictures, video, whatever you've got, and I'll show it off on this sick channel. Oh, and let me tell you, if you remember watching the last episode, something happened to my volcano. It got confiscated. Mr. Smith, we have to confiscate this. You're not setting a good example for the children with open flames in the house. I'm getting it back because I am not done blowing that thing up yet. In the fire station? Oh, don't you worry. I'll get it back. I have a plan. Uh -huh.